We've all seen this guy. I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my reformed orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. But who was this person nominating his non-existent award for the reformed rabbi Bill Clinton? Was this kid serious? Or did crashing the Elden Ring speech open a Pandora's box full of mystery about this ultimate troll? Who in God's name is this pimple-faced high schooler decked out from the neck down with a Yeezy fit? How is he able to seamlessly be everywhere all at once and absolutely obliterate his fellow guests? Hey, hey, hey! Listen, yeah, hey, hey, don't point. No, no, You're no, making no, general no, assumptions, hey, buddy, hey. hey! Hey, Oh, there it is. It. General. You're making Check general it. assumptions? Brother, brother. No. Don't make me speak you in Hebrew. Be quiet. Oh. <laughs> Enough. Enough what? talk. Oh. What if I told you this kid is a genius? And the fact that most people haven't caught on to his shtick is top tier level trolling. Mark my words, he will be one of the greats like Sasha Baron Cohen, and even like Andy Kaufman, if he's not already there. Ladies and gentlemen, please be kind, subscribe, and welcome to the Matan Evans story. Before Matan Evanoff, or Matan Evan, would plaster his face onto multiple live streams, he'd gone viral for pulling a bait and switch at an LA Clippers game. That gained him some media attention. Yeah, so what happened is outside of the Staples Center, they uh, gave out a lot of the free Hong Kong shirts. And from what I know, I've read a few articles on it, I think they gave around nearly 13,000 shirts. You took it into the game with you, at what point did you decide you were going to try to get that on the Jumbotron? I mean, I've been on the Jumbotron a few times, but not really anything that was like serious. Maybe just honestly, just to be on the dance camp. But the second I got the shirt, I realized that I had to, you know, promote something that was going to promote good. And, you know, I really support their movement. And I thought that it could be good if I uh, held up the shirt for them. Matan even had a Times article written about his viral stunt where they stated that his message came amid the recent tensions between the NBA and China, which began when Houston Rockets general manager Daryl Morey tweeted in support of the pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong, writing on Twitter, fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong. Though getting the shirt from a protester outside of the Clippers arena, one could say this event inspired Matan to create. And after finding out he'd gone viral through a friend from school, Matan decided to create a Twitter page along with a YouTube account where he posted Chinese police brutality videos continuing the protest for the Free Hong Kong movement, which occurred from 2019 through 2020. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the worst Hong Kong police brutality moments. If you want to see an extended version, press the link in this tweet so you can watch that. Make sure to subscribe so you can watch all the future videos up on that channel. But besides that, let's get into the Okay, so this video is going to be centered around something that actually happened in Hong Kong with police brutality. And you can actually see the Hong Kong police public relations team arguing with an old man. This will actually escalate in the clip I show after this. But just showing this clip, obviously when you're public relations team and you're supposed to calm the situation, Situation down, arguing with an old man is obviously not going to do that. Being the fearless seventh grader that I never was, Matan decided to crash a World of Warcraft Q&A panel at BlizzCon 2019, this time shouting the words Free Hong Kong. Yeah, uh, Free Hong Kong. Revolution of our times. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> My name's Laurentium. Um, <laughs> um, so anyway, the... Uh, the identity of the mysterious jailer being unknown and somewhat a new figure in Warcraft Low. Uh, is there a possibility that there could be a character we know is connected? You got, got a question, mate? Yeah. Free Hong Kong. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh He'd returned back for an interview with Owen Schroyer in 2020. My guess is that a lot of people probably don't like my video since it's semi-controversial and a lot of people obviously in China wouldn't like it because I'm supporting Hong Kong and not China, and if they support the Chinese government, they're going to try to false flag my videos, which is probably going to get it taken down. And from there, it seemed like Matan Evan had dropped off the face of the earth, or probably just had to finish the eighth grade, with his media attention beginning to dwindle. Do you feel like you're getting a lot of traction uh, from people who care about the issue and people who... Um, doesn't like you caring about the issue. Let's just start with that. Do you, do you think you're getting a lot of reactions from people? 
on the internet. Yeah, I think um, I'm getting a lot of reactions. I know the original clip of me holding the t-shirt at the Clipper and Laker game. I know that it was posted on Twitter by someone called Slasher, and that's what originally went viral. And it got 5 million views, a few hundred thousand likes. And that's, I think, where it kind of started. So, Matan would find another way to gain attention. And two years later, in December of 2022, during the Elden Ring speech at the Game Awards, Matan snuck onto the stage, gave his famous Bill Clinton speech, and automatically conquered the cyber world with his presence. Hey, Matan. You know, real quick, I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my Reformed Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. Wait a minute. Where did this accent come from? Not only would his stunt be a wicked smart move, knowing every streamer would be live streaming this event. What the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. Was that like a... I don't... Was All that right. like Did some kind of... Did someone know that he was on the stage? I thought he was like part of the production yeah. team. <laughs> what? Alright! What? Huh? Spring your pot and do this put friend we rise put friend we rise what? put friend we rise put friend rise All right it gave him the opportunity for future collaborations only a few days later where he would react to his speech Okay and t tell me tell me you know what I mean where, where did somebody you know 15 get so much time on their hands to you know be you know be be, be do, do stuff like this Right you know uh I'm very similar probably to other 15 year olds. I, I go to, uh, you know, school, but the difference is that, you know, I am, you know, uh, much better than most of them. You know, I'm able to pull off stunts like this and get, you know, the right attention for the right topics. While you can tell Matan was still working on his accent in this reaction video, the improvement of his character would be apparent on his next appearance with Neon Sniper Panda breaking character multiple times which were left unnoticed by his fellow guests. Hi, my name's Sophia. Hi, I'm Talia. Yeah, right? I'm an Only f Bros. Only homies. Oh, only homies. Bro. <laughs> only bros. <laughs> I'm Only f Bros. Yo, what's up? My name's Rodeo. I'm a Only Bros manager. Hi, I'm Mia. I'm a professional dancer and influencer. <laughs> what are we doing today? Uh, my name is Matan Evan. Oh. We do Only Bros. Only homies. Only homies. And what we type of uh, videos do you make on that? Corn. Corn. Right. Yep. Very evil. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Very evil. Explain, Ooh. Explain, explain, explain it. Explain it. Ex yeah. Right, you know, obviously I'm a man of God. So I'd like to kind of bring this out uh, just for the moment. You know, offer everybody one of these. You, know, you can make your choices. Oh, shit. So, you saying that we're evil because they do something is absolutely 100% incorrect. Right, I never actually said that they were evil. I just said that the actions they committed were definitely evil in the eyes of God. How, are you God? Yes. You're putting yourself above... Yeah, are you... Bro is that's God. That's evil. Yes. Bro is God. That's literally that evil. Crazy. Do you even... Are you even educated? You understand that you saying you are God is against God. I would disagree. Oh. In an interview with Sneeko... Matan would break character by laughing at one of his own jokes, and then almost abruptly ending the call. And where are you headed to right now, Matan? You seem like you're busy. You seem like you got somewhere to be. I don't want to hold you up. You got to go spread God's message. Right, you know, I'm actually uh, probably going to be heading to uh, Hollywood Boulevard later today, uh, today and uh, I'll be helping the homeless community by giving out broken cameras. Why not working cameras? They're too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is the camera up? Put it back on you, man. Matan. <laughs> Matan. No! <laughs> Matan even crashed the writer's strike in Hollywood holding a sign reading, We Love Landlords, also interrupting one of Hassan's videos. What's going on? How you guys doing? We love landlords. We're all against unions. We're here to protest against the landlords and the unions. We love them. Can we do like a quick shake on the hand? We love landlords. Look. You guys like landlords? We'll probably leave if that's the case. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, you know, I don't want to fuck anyone's uh, shit up. Yeah, I'll, I'll connect it. This little fucking fetus, bro. I swear to God. So sick. 
He would join Neon Sniper again to interview a couple more models. <laughs> models. Where his wittiness flew right over their heads. While many in the comments section knew of Matan's trolling, his fellow guests were fooled into thinking he was being serious like when he completely destroyed this OnlyFans pimp. And that how just, do you don't know my kids? What I'm saying, like you're just pulling all of this out of thin air to appease you think an your, audience you think of loser incels who have like no sex. They just want to shit on pretty yeah, women because they're intimidated in, by oh, them. No, I so how, so hey, John, let me get that. Yo, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, bitch. Hey, yo, bitch. Are you saying I'm an incel? Hey, hey, hey. Listen, hey, don't point. You're making general assumptions. Hey, hey. Oh, there it is. You are making general assumptions. No. Don't make me speak you in Hebrew. Be quiet. Enough. No oh. Matan even started his own podcast titled The Matan Show. That's a mix between the Ali G Show and Between Two Ferns. With his first episode posted on October 22nd, 2023. And with my personal favorite being his Mickey Mace interview. What truth? I know you keep reaching for the Fruit Loops. I'm going to tell you right now. I really would like to encourage you not to touch it, not to get anywhere near me. I think that's the closest you should get. You want to grab them Fruit Loops? Grab them Fruit Loops. Keep that on your side. I promise, please, please, I'm telling you, do not reach over and grab this mic from my face. What's with the hostility towards Mike? It makes me very uncomfortable. Do you, do you want to scoot away from him? No, I like the side of this table. I just, don't, Mike? Mike I just don't want him to get too close to my face. Do you want me to say it in different words? Sure. If you get too close to me, I'm going to smack the taste right out of your mouth. What? That's not what I said. Do you have any more questions? I mean, I didn't think you... I don't know why you're so angry. It's like he's going the complete wrong way. Thank you for your donation. It's hard to say where Matan Evan will be in a year, but one thing is undeniable. This dude has definitely stamped himself as one of the best YouTubers alive. Catch me on XFM with Dental talking about the COVID-19 virus and about my YouTube channel where I upload some videos about the coronavirus. You can watch that on Matan Evan. Make sure to check it out.